The 2016 World Triathlon Series welcomed a new venue to the schedule as Leeds hosted the first event on the European leg of the nine race series. Chilly temperatures in the north of England made for a wetsuit swim over 1,500 metres as a relatively small field of 33 athletes hit the water. Great Britain's Jessica Learmonth and Lucy Hall were soon at the head of the field and exited the water side by side with Bermuda's Flora Duffy right behind them. Duffy, the top-ranked athlete in the field, has had a fine season so far, but right alongside her in T1 was the imposing figure of Gwen Jorgensen, who won her previous race in Yokohama. With the wetsuits briefly slowing things down, the athletes were soon out for the 40k bike, with Duffy, Liam and Van Hall turning over a fast pace. Jorgensen found herself back in a chase group of 14, along with Andrea Hewitt and Jody Stimson. The front three rode together for the full seven laps as they made it back to T1. Their efforts had been rewarded with a 90-second advantage over the rest of the field, but would it be enough? Duffy was first off on the 10k run, but it took just 5k for Jorgensen to pass her with another stunning performance. The Bermuda must wonder what she has to do to win a race as she ran on her own in second place, with Jorgensen now well ahead of her. Great Britain's Jodie Stimson and Vicky Holland were running side by side as they looked to try and close out third place. Stimson narrowly missed out on an Olympic spot, with Holland, non Stanford, and Helen Jenkins getting the nod for Rio. Amazingly, having overturned the 100 second deficit with ease, Jorgensen crossed the line with almost a minute to spare to record a second successive win as the big crowd showed their appreciation for her efforts. Jorgensen overcoming the biggest ever gap to win a WTS race. There was a long wait back to Duffy, who managed to clinch second place in her second WTS silver medal of the season. Holland managed to outpace Stimson in the final stages to take third and her best finish of the season so far. So Jorgensen took gold to close the gap on the top two in the overall standings. Duffy remains at number one after her silver. It was another good day for the seemingly unstoppable Jorgensen as she took another massive stride towards her dream of Olympic gold. It's a new course, and new courses you never know what to expect. Uh, it's a tough course, you know, you had uh, Flora, Lucy and Jessica really working up the front. So, um, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun course, but tough course.